Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for practice today. We'll begin at the top of your mats in mountain pose. When you're there, inhale, slide your shoulders up, exhale, roll them down your back. Ground down through your feet and connect inward to your breath. Standing tall in your power. Taking deep inhales through your nose, exhale through your nose. Next inhale, stretch your arms up, lengthen out of your waist. Exhale, hinge your hips back, forward fold, head heavy. Inhale, lengthen your sternum forward, strong back. Exhale to forward fold, let your head hang heavy. Inhale, lengthen, look a little forward. Exhale, step back to plank, toes or knees, push the floor away. Crown goes long and forward, breathe in. As you breathe out, elbows tight, lower all the way down to your mat. Walk one foot back, then the other, lengthening out, pressing through the tops of your feet. Inhale, lift up just a little baby cobra. Exhale, stay or hover the legs, maybe even the hands. Squeeze your shoulder blades together down your back. Slowly come down, push back through your knees, downward facing dog, upside down V. Side body long as you breathe in. Keep pushing your chest back to your thighs as you breathe out. Might feel nice to take a bend in your knees to start. Taking any movement here to open up the back of your legs, swaying your hips. Keep that connection down through your hands like you're palming a basketball. Pushing your sit bones up and back as you breathe in. Keep drawing your low belly in and up as you breathe out. Strengthening your quadriceps to lift your kneecaps up towards your hips. As you breathe in, look forward. As you breathe out, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, find length. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Exhale, hands through center. Mountain pose. Crescent moon. Inhale, sweep your arms up, interlace all but your index finger. Exhale, side bend right, left hip left. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend left, right hip right. Adding on, inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Add a little twist, bringing your right armpit forward. Look up. Inhale, we'll lift you back to center. Exhale, go left. Twist a little, bringing your left armpit forward. Open up your sides. Inhale to center. Exhale, sit your hips back. Chair pose, Ukatasin. Keep stretching out through the fingertips. Option to lower your hips a little bit more with each breath out, strengthening your legs. One more time. And exhale, forward fold, hips up, your head heavy. And breathe in, lengthen your heart forward. Breathe out, step back to plank, upper back puffed up. Exhale to lower halfway chaturanga push up. Inhale, heart forward, up dog, thighs lift. Exhale, push back, downward dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, scorpion tail, heel towards your left glutes, bending your knee. Circle through your ankles, open up. Keep pressing the floor away with your palms. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, draw your knee to your chest. Left arm opens left, kick your right leg left, option to hover, plank. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step forward forward runner's lunge adding a twist inhale open your right arm to the sky exhale charge your back leg strong pull your right sit bone back 
and extend your crown forward. Sweep the right arm down and open up to warrior two stance, arms out shoulder height. Inhale, reverse warrior right arm overhead. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, step back plank. Exhale, lower, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, scorpion tail, your knee bends. Circle through your ankle, open up. Inhale, left leg straightens. Exhale, draw your knee into your chest. Right arm opens to the sky. Kick your left leg to the right. Option to hover it. Right hand down. Lift back up, three-legged dog. Step forward, deep lunge. Left arm opens for the twist. Option to rise up onto the right fingertips. Lengthening through your crown as you breathe in. Twist as you breathe out. Open up, inhale, warrior two stance. Exhale, bend your front knee. Reverse warrior, left arm overhead, right hand down your thigh. Exhale, you'll cartwheel your hands down, framing your front foot. Step back to flow or can always just come to downward facing dog, yogi's choice. Meeting in downward dog as you exhale, hips up. Deep breaths. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, scorpion tail once again. Option to stay or flip your dog, right foot steps behind you. Hips up, chest up. Look towards the top of your mat. Slowly flip back, three-legged dog, right leg lifts. Big step forward. Inhale, arms up overhead, crescent lunge. Exhale, lunge. Twisted lunge, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, open, warrior two. Reverse your warrior, breathe in. As you breathe out, straighten your front leg, reverse triangle. Side body long, inhale. Exhale, stay. Bend your right knee, lower down, skandasana, left leg straight. Left arm opens, right hand down. Left hand comes back to the mat. Twisted lunge, right arm to the sky. Open up through your chest. Circle your right arm forward and down. Step back to plank, breathe in. Exhale, lower slow, halfway or all the way. Inhale, up dog, open your chest. Exhale, hinge back, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts as you breathe in. Bend your knee, scorpion tail, breathe out. Staying there or let momentum take you over. Flip your dog, hips up. Stretch your right arm forward. Squeeze your glutes and your hamstrings open. Flip back, three-legged dog. Exhale, step to your lunge. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, bend your front knee, lower your pelvis. Twisted lunge, right arm forward, left arm back. Breathe in. Breathe out, open up, warrior two. Chest open, breathe in. Sink into your front leg, breathe out. Reverse warrior, inhale, left arm up and over. Exhale, stay. Reverse triangle, straightening your front leg, your quad stays engaged. Open up your left side body. Breathe in. As you breathe out, bend your left knee. Lower your elbow inside the left knee, skandasana. Right arm opens to the sky. Keep your right leg straight. Top of your mats, right hand down, left arm up, twisted lunge. Long through your crown as you breathe in. 
open and twist as you breathe out. Left hand lowers, step back, plank or downward dog, moving through a flow if you'd like, or take rest as you need, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, exhale, step or hop top of your mats. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your arms up, bend your knees, ukatasana chair as you exhale. Inhale, sweep your arms up, legs straight, backward bending. Exhale, bend your knees, chair. Inhale, press through the feet, stand up tall. Exhale, hinge and fold all the way down. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, step your left foot back. Open your right arm to the sky for the twist. Left hand under your left shoulder. Sweep your right arm forward. Pyramid pose. Straighten both legs. You can step your back foot in. Shift your weight forward. Kick your left heel up. Breathe in. Standing splits. Breathe out. Fold. Draw your knee in towards your nose. Round in as you exhale. Eagle legs, wrap your left thigh around the right. Rise up with control as you breathe in, proud chest, open your arms. As you breathe out, sweep your right arm under your left, clasping at your palms or interlace your fingers. Inhale, lengthen through your crown. Exhale, squeeze to your midline. Inhale, left knee lifts. Exhale, open to airplane, stretch your arms out, kick your left heel back. Strong in your back, proud chest, eyes still, your breath calm. Reverse half moon, left arm down, right arm up, lengthen forward. Slowly lower with control, down into a kneeling lunge. Hands to your right thigh. Option to stay. If you'd like a little more in your hip flexor, stretch your left arm up as you breathe in. Exhale, side bend towards your right as you breathe out. Keep pushing the front of your left hip forward. Half Hanumanasana, half split. Straighten your front leg. And for today, reach your hands to the outside of your right foot. Sink your hips back towards your heels and keep lengthening your chest forward. Release the pose, stepping back to dog with any variation that feels good, maybe a figure four or a scorpion tail. Reset in your dog. As you breathe in, look forward. As you breathe out, bend your knees, step or hop. Inhale, lengthen forward. Exhale, hinge and fold. Chair pose, bend your knees, sweep your arms up. Inhale, press through the feet, open up, standing backward bend. Exhale, circle the arms, chair pose. Inhale, press up, open up, backward bend. Exhale, straight legs, forward fold. Inhale, spine goes long. Exhale, step your right foot back, lunge. Open up to the twist, left arm forward and up, right hand under your right shoulder. Level your hips. Left hand down, pyramid pose, both legs straight, long spine. Look forward as you shift your weight towards your front foot, kicking your back heel up when you're ready, take flight. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, standing splits, forward fold. One more breath. Bottom of your exhale, round your knee towards your nose, setting up for eagle. Cross your right thigh over your left. Rise up with control, strong core. Open the arms to cactus, breathe in. As you breathe out, wrap your arms opposite sides. Tightest grip you can get. Pull your elbows down as you lift your chest up. 
Unravel the right leg, breathe in. Breathe out, kick back, airplane arms, warrior three. Lengthen forward through your crown and back through your heel. Eyes still. Right hand lowers, twisted half moon, left arm opens up. Keep kicking up through your right heel, chest forward. Slowly step back, kneeling lunge, right knee to your mat. Hands to your left thigh, push your right hip forward. Inhale, sweep your right arm up. Exhale, side bend left. Full breath in, full breath out. Half split pose, straighten your left leg, fold over your front leg, reaching to the left with both hands. Allow your hips to relax back a little or a lot. Deepen your breath. And release the pose, step your foot back downward dog, taking any release, figure four, Scorpion tail or flip dog. Eventually resetting in your downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward between the palms. Exhale, step or hop top of your mats. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Lift your right knee to 90. Exhale, twist to your right. Left hand to the outside of your right knee. Right arm comes back into cactus. Stay here or option to hold the outside of your right foot with your left hand, kicking your heel forward. Releasing to figure four, standing. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Sit your hips back low as you bring your heart forward. Lift up, extended hand to big toe, right leg to the right, straightening it out if possible. Left arm left. Come back to center, hold it here, karate kid. And sweep all the way down, forward fold. Both feet touch the ground. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold. Second side, inhale, sweep your arms up. Left knee bends to 90 degrees. Exhale, twist to your left, right arm forward, left arm back, cactusing your left arm. Can stay with a bent knee or hold the outside of your left foot as you kick your heel forward. Tall as you breathe in, strong core as you breathe out. Figure four in the chair, crossing your left ankle forward, over your right thigh, toes stay flexed back to your shin. Push your hips back as you lean forward with your upper body. From here, right arm right, lift up extended hand to big toe, opening your left leg left. You can always do it with a bend in your knee. Come back through center, left leg straight, karate kid, both arms up. Kick out through your heel, hold it there. Deep breath in, exhale, feet down, forward folds. Great job. Inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, feet come wider, sit into Malasana Yogi Squat. Elbows inside your knees, toes pointing outwards, a little or a lot. Chest forward and your tailbone down. Option to stay as you are. Or forward fold to set up crow. Knees high to the upper arms. Bend your elbows head forward as you pull your heels up towards your hips. Keep hugging your arms in. Slowly coming down now. Boat pose. Sit bones down, knees bent, arms stretch forward. Keep your knees bent or option to straighten your legs. Keep your chest up. Last breath. And slowly lower, right leg straight, bend your left knee, sole your foot to your inner thigh, half butterfly forward fold. 
hinging at your hips, reach down your right leg. And try to keep the length in your spine by pressing your chest forward as you breathe in. Maybe inching your sit bones back as you breathe out. Allow your left knee to open up heavy to the floor. Rise up as you breathe in. Marachasana set up as you breathe out. Left knee straight up to the ceiling. Sole your foot on the mat. Left arm sweeps forward and reach around, bending at your elbow. Right hand swings around so that you can clasp by your left hip. Keep your right leg straight, toes pointing back to your face. Hinge and fold, left sit bone will lift. And release the pose, coming back up. Keep your left knee bent, right leg straight, hands behind you, reverse table. Lift your hips up, opening the front of your hips, chest to the sky. Slowly come down. Second set, boat. When you're ready, legs lift parallel or straight. You can open the arms or hold the back of your thighs. Strong breath. Lower down, left leg straight, right knee open to the right, half butterfly fold, hinging down your left leg. Taking a hold of whatever you can, can always just rest your palms beside the left leg and dig in with the heels of your hands pulling back to send your heart forward. Long breaths. Last one. Bottom of your exhale, rise up. Bend the right knee, sole your foot about a foot's width wide of the left leg. Your right arm sweeps forward and around the right shin. Left hand sweeps behind, going for the bind if possible. Keep that right knee hugged in tight to your torso as you fold over your left leg. Right sit bone will lift. You can always do this with a strap. And coming out for the counter pose, hands behind you, right knee stays bent. Lift your hips up, pressing through the soles of your feet. Hard up. Open your front body. And come down with control. Bend both knees, planting the soles of your feet down. Arms straight out in front of you, palms face in. Deep breath in. As you exhale, come one third down. And then another third, slowly lowering all the way to your mat, landing lightly. Knees bent. We'll set up for little bridge pose. Graze your heels with your fingertips. Press into your feet. Draw your hips up. You can walk your arms underneath you more, interlacing your fingers. Staying there if you'd like, or bring your hands by your shoulders to lift to Urdhva Dhanurasana, upward bow. Press into your feet. Heart lifts up, straightening your arms a little or a lot. Keep pushing your chest up to the sky. Both variations keep the strength in the low body. Your knees tracking in line with your toes. From upward bow, tuck your chin to your chest, lower to the back of your head and the back of your shoulders, all the way down to the floor. Thread the needle pose, kick your right heel up as you breathe in, cross your right ankle over your left thigh as you breathe out. You can stay right there or hug your legs in towards your chest, weaving your right arm through the space you've created, both hands meeting on your left hamstring or shin. Keep your right foot flexed. You can try rocking side to side, finding the sweet spot for you. The outer edges of your shoulders press down. Half sleeping baby, take a hold of the right big toe, shining the sole of your right foot up to the sky. Guide your right knee in towards your armpit with the strength of your right bicep. 
Left leg could straighten out for more intensity. Next posture, wind relieving pose. Interlace your fingers around your right shin, hugging your knee inwards. Left leg straight. Can make some circles with your thighs here, stimulating your digestive organs. And we'll finish this side with a twist. Use your left hand to guide your right knee over your body. Open your right arm right. And relax your body down towards the floor. Right shoulder stays heavy. Deep Ujjayi breath. Release back to center as you breathe in. Bend both knees, switching sides as you breathe out. Left leg kicks up before you cross your ankle over your thigh, figure four. Staying there or thread the needle left arm through, taking a hold of your right hamstring or shin with your fingers interlaced. Press your tailbone down with every breath out. Deep belly breaths with every inhale. Find the sweet spot for you. Let's open to half sleeping baby. Sole the right foot down. Shine the sole of your left foot up. Guiding your knee down and in towards your armpits. Option to straighten your right leg for more intensity. Press up through your heel to feel the stretch in the back of your legs. And transition to wind relieving pose, interlacing your fingers around your left shin. Hugging your leg in towards your torso. And again, find the spot that works best for you with your hip shape. Guiding your left knee more left or more right. Right leg kicks out long. Coming into the twist now. Right hand guides your left knee across your body. Stacking your hips left on top of right. Left arm opens to the left, cactus or half letter T. Can always tuck your left toes behind your right knee for more support. Let every breath soften the skin around your left side rib cage. Taking longer exhales as we wind down class. And with your next inhale, release to center. And as you exhale, hug both knees in towards your torso. Taking a hold behind the shins or on top, your choice. Maybe adding a gentle rock side to side. Or even opening up to full happy baby pose. Lifting the soles of both feet up to the ceiling. Bending your knees, pulling down. Yogi's choice. Now when you're ready, kick both heels to the ceiling, legs straight. Add in the arms, reaching them up and let your fingertips drop down lazily towards your belly. Dead buck. Now you might like to stay here for this gentle inversion or if you'd like to try plow pose, you can bring your arms by your side pressing through your palms. Bring your legs away from your torso just a bit to get some momentum. When you're ready, swing your legs up over your head, lifting your hips. Could go right to plow 
or to shoulder stand. Walking your elbows in tighter if you're going to shoulder stand. Hands to your low back. Straightening your legs up to the sky a little or a lot. No problem to stay a little more jackknife if you feel too much pressure in your neck. Keep pressure in the outer edges of your shoulders, chin to chest without looking side to side. Now you can take any variations here in your shoulder stand, maybe moving the legs to butterfly or wide-legged. This transition can be awesome to come to plow. So wide legs, toes touch down, feet above your head. Walk your feet in towards one another straight above your head. You could keep the hands on your back for support or you might try wrapping them around the back of your calves. Deepest forward fold. Now you'll want to exit really slow, bringing your palms down, take pressure through them as you begin to lift your legs back up and over your head, meeting back in dead bug. Big belly breaths. Fingers and toes relaxed. No effort at all. Bend at your knees. Lower your arms. Supta Baddha Konasana, butterfly. Soles of your feet touch. Your knees open wide. Rest your hands where it's comfortable for you. On your belly or the floor. You're welcome to stay with Butterfly as long as you'd like before making your way to your final Shavasana. And once you do get there, you might take the time to lengthen your tailbone down to your heels. If your low back bothers you, keep your knees bent instead of straightening your legs. Just gently allow your knees to knock in with that variation. For today, I'm stretching my arms up over my head and holding opposite elbows. But find what's comfortable for you. Getting heavy through the back of your head, the back of your shoulders, and the back of your pelvis. Releasing control over your breath. Just gently watching the rise and fall of your belly. Like waves in the sea. Letting these waves of relaxation wash over you. Closing your eyes if you're comfortable. Slight separation of your teeth and your mouth. Nothing to do. Nothing to think about. Just be here now and rest.
And if you're ready to begin to wiggle fingers and toes, perhaps stretching the arms overhead before you roll over to one side, moving as slow as you like, eventually coming up to seated, joining the palms together. Namaste.